Okay, installing R and R Studio for Apple computers. This is going to be um, a brief addition because uh, it's almost the same as on Windows. All right, so you you can you can find it in a couple of ways. You can go to your Google window and 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 do R Studio, and it's at rstudio.org. And then you just download the IDE for RStudio for desktop. It it should automatically detect your your uh, operating system. Okay, so there's RStudio. Uh, we'll install that in a second. Uh, then you want to select uh, R. Uh, it's R dot dot project dot org. And then you want to go to the nearest crown, crayon mirror, which is going to be probably KU. And then you're going to download one for Max. And then download R 3.02, your latest version. It says, this type of file can harm your computer. Do you want to keep this package anyway? Say keep. It's not going to harm your computer. So um, then you just simply double click that package. And it will bring up this uh, um, program, and you just pretty much go through and, and continue, and you accept, install in the default location, put in your password. If you need to, you should have your password. Uh, you should always have your computer password protected. Uh, FYI, and. Um, Okay, so the installation was successful, and then I can just simply close it. And I can go over here to my um, my applications folder. Come down here until I find R. And I'll just drag it down. Whoa. Well, I can just double click it. And hopefully it'll open. Okay. And there it is. Since I've already had this installed in the past, it has some customized look to it. Um, meaning that it is. Um, um, got a blue background. I'll show you how to do that later. So I can close out of there. And then we'll go to our R Studio and see if it's going to open up for me. Oh, there it is. There we go. I don't. Okay. So with R Studio, all you have to do is drag and drop it into your applications folder. It makes it pretty easy in that regard. You can drag and drop it anywhere on your computer if you want to, but um, it's um, usually nicer. Now this is a newer edition. I already, already had it installed, so. Oh, here it comes, finally. So, here's my R Studio program, which is now opened up. So, <clears throat> earlier on the other video, we um, showed you how to install your packages from R. Um, let me go ahead and uh, show you how to install them in R Studio. So, same sort of a deal where I just want to go to my my website um, at umkc so that's p dot web dot umkc dot edu slash p r u e r slash r slash click enter and I'll have that script location then I 
click to download my script or in this case open it up so I can hit the command button and then the the a command a and then command C and I've copied all that information to the clipboard then in our studio I can um, come up here and uh, let me maximize this and open up a new R script got a lot of things in there but we'll get out of add them later and then you can just hit command V and you'll you'll uh, have your script installed so now just like we did before um, um, uh, we'll, we'll want to save this as something so uh, we'll save it as install r commander dot r the uh, dot r is an important thing to do in Max because uh, unlike Windows it doesn't always necessarily decide what your uh, uh, your thing is going to be so got two options here we can either hit the run which is the current line or selection or we can hit source which will run everything on this page but we'll do source and just like uh, what happened in the Windows version of R we should get this little thing that pops up and says where do you want to download this information from it hasn't happened yet alright so it downloaded all my programs and then uh, just like in regular R I can load it the, the package using the word require R-E-Q-U-I-R-E -E, R-C-M-D-R I can also come over here to packages and load it manually but this is usually easier it's loading required packages I don't know why it takes so long anymore um, and here you can see it looks a little bit different when you're when you're doing our commander in R Studio than you do it R Commander in R. Let me let me show you just really quick. Excerpt from Commander and R. Click OK. Okay, so uh, library R C M D R. You see I'm typing the word library instead of require in either Windows or um, um, Macintosh or even Linux you can use the word library or the word R and then you, you get your your your, uh, 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 your window and see that you'll see your output so it's just a little bit different in our commander when you when you play with R Studio are just uh, plain R. So uh, your R scripts, if you um, if you uh, um, <clears throat> uh, want to do your R scripting in in the script editor here, it's it's just the same um, uh, as um, in, in Windows so it's it's just clicking on uh, create a new empty document in editor so let me go ahead and close out of there I don't need to save that so so that's our commander that's our that's our studio for Mac